Hi, I'm Christy Rost. When markets overflow with ripe, juicy peaches, that's the time to bake upside down peach cake. What begins as sliced peaches with brown sugar and butter baked under an almond flavored cake becomes a sweet, glistening topping once the cake is inverted. In a bowl, I have one cup plus two tablespoons of flour, and I'm adding one half teaspoon of baking powder and one half teaspoon of salt. And then I just stir these together. And then in my mixer, I have one third cup of unsalted butter that's soft and two thirds cup of granulated sugar. And I've already gotten it started. I'm going to add in the last bit of sugar and beat this until it's light and fluffy, which will take about eight minutes. While the butter and sugar are creaming, peel and slice two large peaches. Place the peaches in a pan of boiling water for 30 to 45 seconds. Then transfer them to a bowl of ice water. The skin will easily peel off so you can slice them. Once the butter and sugar are light and fluffy, then add in one egg and one teaspoon of vanilla and just a quarter teaspoon of almond extract. Little bit goes a long ways. Then mix this again until it's really light, and that'll take several minutes. Now I add the flour mixture to the creamed mixture a little bit at a time, and I'm going to do this alternately with the milk. and I have a half cup of milk there. In the meantime, I have the cake pan prepared. I sprayed the inside with nonstick spray and put a piece of parchment paper in the bottom. Then I pour one quarter cup of melted butter into the pan and just spread this around a bit and three quarters cup of brown sugar. And always pack your brown sugar when you're measuring. And I just crumble this over and spread it evenly in the pan. Just use your fingers for this. And then the peaches, which are all peeled and sliced, then I begin to arrange them around the exterior to create a nice pattern and then I'll gradually fill in the center of the cake pan. The cake batter is smooth and fluffy, and now I'll transfer it to the baking pan on top of the peaches and just gently put it on top so that you don't move the peaches around. Just very gently spread it out evenly. In the meantime, I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. I'm going to bake this cake for 35 to 40 minutes or until a cake tester comes out clean when inserted in the center. So here we are. This is set. And I always give it just a little, couple of little bangs on the bottom. And so once the cake is baked, then you remove it from the oven. Here, let's get this in here. Okay. Remove it from the oven and set it aside for about 30 minutes to cool. It should be just warm at that point. Then take your cake platter, put it on top of your cake and invert it. The cake should drop out. If it doesn't, just give it a couple of taps on the top. The cake will drop out. Then you can remove the parchment paper and all those beautiful glistening peaches will be right on top. Cool it until you're ready to serve. Upside down peach cake. When it comes to summer meals or warm weather gatherings, this light almond flavored cake crowned with juicy peaches makes the day extra special. Take care, bake some joy.